Hi, this is Dan. Welcome to my Dusker's Daily Challenge run for July 16th, 2017. Yesterday was a fun ship. Yeah. At least until the uh, closed door command broke and then all hell broke loose for a lot of people. Um, I actually managed to uh, finish the ship and get away clean, which was cool. Um, Big score differences in this were going to be uh, starting drone health because there was an 80-point swing between my score and LB's anyway. Um, he was the only one I noticed who got the, who got the particularly high score. There was also um, a sentry to kill, so the amount of scrap it would drop <clears throat> would vary, obviously. But, um, yeah, it was a tough ship, especially after... It was Swarm and Sentries, but um, Swarm, once the door is closed, the door closing doesn't work anymore. There's a lot of luck involved, you know, just in what you had left open up to that point and then couldn't close and what you could do with Slime or Swarm and things like that. So I got lucky, and I think I played it well. Um, jury rigged, finished same score I did. LB got the top spot, despite taking a glancing blow from mine damage. Um, but we've tested how mine damage works at distance. Now there's a test kitchen video up about it if you're curious or you're wondering. Um, did not see Copper's run, and um, I don't know if I saw Knox either. Facts, I don't think it ever encountered a. Uh, a run where the closed door command quit, and he he was kind of at a loss after that for uh, for how to proceed, and um, wound up losing a drone. But he had a he had a good run up to that point, and certainly the first time that happens to you, I I feel enormous amount of sympathy. I feel enormous enormous amount of sympathy with with anybody who played yesterday's ship because it was it was a mean one and um yeah anyway speaking of mean ships let's see how mean today's will be Ooh, we have transporter and we have remote power and we have a muteki a with two infestation types and we know what three clear rooms are okay cool um and we have very low starting hit points 510 it looks like yeah 280 so we're starting with 510 some people i'm sure are going to start with higher so let's just um jeremy get that interface and uh, we have a motion again, which always makes me happy. And trans one, two, R2. No power defense turrets found. Interesting. Okay. And info one. This should be clear as well because there's a transport signal in here and hello hi there's a whole bunch of scrap that's awesome and what do we got in here got interfaces everywhere so i guess we're gonna have to check them all trans three r2 toe R8. And we might as well motion this up a little bit. Really, John? Come on. Two defenses in these rooms.
this is actually a really bad room to be wait waiting out a slime spawn in, but, um... But thankfully that didn't hurt us. Nothing in here. No open doors in there. E25. And we hear a swarm somewhere. Probably behind D24, so that's that's one of them anyway. That's where the other gun is, and and we're moving along quite briskly. Okay, well, tell you what. Wow, I almost made a big bad mistake there. Time. <sighs> okay. Good. Now we have a swarm we can murder. Let's see if there's another one in there, which there very much could be. So it seems like it's kind of a tiny room behind there, so... Yep. Okay, so... There isn't a vent, that's good. Time. Oh fuck, and there is a vent in here. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Time. And Another broken ship interface, which... I don't know, we might be able to salvage, actually. Time... I'm sort of beginning to think that... Um, that we don't have slime, though... Okay...
Okay, and we've already been in those rooms, so we already know. Time. Come on. Out you go. Out you go. Okay. Lovely. D18. I'm going to take a gamble here that that is either a leaper or... Crap. Okay, well... We have it boxed in anyway. Yep, and it was only one en enemy, so we have sentries and what? Or we have swarm and what? Sentry. Ooh, and three. Yay, that's nice. And three that I can get to. Okay, well, D30. D19. Nav 2. It's nice to not have to worry about the slime timer anymore. D8. Okay, D13. Ooh, hello. Another turret. Oh, we have a remote power, too. I've totally, I totally forgot we had a remote power. Okay, so remote R14. Flag R seventeen is clear. Might as well dock A one as no, dock A three rather as well. We have five signals remaining, but Probably doesn't look like any of them are in rooms that have useful stuff. So, okay, well. You know, there might be another vent. So, I'm being perhaps overly cautious, but I've had bad luck with vent spawns in recent times, it seems like, so better to be safe. I think we'll also open D17, just in case there is 
anything hanging out in there. This is a really annoying ship layout, too. The way R16 just cuts off like that. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing that's clear then. Sooner or later you just gotta do it. Yep. Oh crap, there's rooms up above these too. Whoops. Okay, that's exciting. Um, hmm. Ooh, there's a turret. That's nice. scrap in the world is in here. Okay. And three, but we don't really need to worry about these, right? Ooh, okay. Something would have come up, come out of here long before now, so... Okay. to bet that that is another D17, D29, D7. I think that's probably another sentry. Yep. Oops. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes, deact, turn off the guns before you drive into the room. That's always good policy. Oh, and three more. Okay, so I lost the ship scan lottery, but I'm doing quite well on this. So... Fourteen remote R eight.
on. Yep, and you're another swarm that came out of that vent. I know. D22. <sighs> Come on. There's yummy things in there. Yep. Namely, a whole bunch of tasty bullets. Oh, god damn it. Okay, that... That doesn't actually matter so much. And I don't know if you can hear it through my microphone, but um, the monsoons have finally arrived in my part of the world, and so we are getting a hell of a rainstorm right now, and it's the best thing ever. Just to make sure, D20. Yep, and there's another one. Because, of course, there is. Come on. You know you want to, right? Or maybe you're starting to wonder because all your friends keep leaving through that door and then they don't come back. I mean, I'd be wondering now, but uh, don't worry, they're just behind here. They are. Come on. And you will be back with them now. And so that's at least two slime spawns. So... Okay. D4, D7, D13, D16. Or, we could just remote our eight yeah. Pop D twenty six. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. And now we're gonna go way over to the other side of the ship. up in here. Okay. Dock A3, I th well... Okay, I'm gonna guess there wasn't a vent in there, or there was another vent spawn. Now, and there's part of me that wants to just murder the last spawn as well, but... Dock... A3... But I don't think we're going to do that. Aside from that one swarm in the corner, we have, um, we've left things the way that they should be, and 26 scrap, so that's 520 points right there, plus a drone with two upgrades and a ship upgrade, and... I did check the fuel, right? It was so long ago now that I don't really even remember, but I'm going to check to make sure. Yep. Okay. So, 510 starting score, and whoa, Nelly. Even with a 510 starting score, we um, picked up 635. Probably a bunch of other people did too, because this is not that hard a ship, honestly. I mean, Swarm is always an adventure, but, um, but yeah. So, Jury Rigged got. 30 more, and Fax got 10 more, which suggests to me that there was a drone hit point variance, and maybe one of them got ship scan. Like a 10 HP thing, and but I got max drop from the sentries. So, maybe it's... A 30 point hit point difference, and Fax only got 5 instead of 6 scrap from the sentries. That could be. Anyway, um, cool. That was, that was a good run. I'm pleased with that. 1145, that's, that's a nice high score on a daily challenge. So, yeah. 
And only the four of us have played so far. So, uh, right on. Okay, if you'd like to watch uh, these folks' runs and you don't know where to find them, as well as Copper, Knox Gitney, and if he's back from his trip, Marvin, uh, you can check my video description and there will be links to their daily challenge playlists. And um, also, fun thing that, uh, that LB and I are trying to do this week, we've been competing the last couple of weeks on the weekly challenge runs, but um, this week we are going to be sharing the same starting file. He, uh, he started his run and immediately quit so that the system would be established and then shared it with me. And um, I started mine and, and saved my starting galaxy as well so that if the first one we try bugs out, we have a, we have a backup. We're going to use his because he won last week, and then if that doesn't work, we're going to use mine. I think I think Knox Skitney might get involved in this too, which would be awesome. That would be very exciting. But the idea is we'll be able to do the uh, the weekly challenge and sort of compete, but with the same drones, with the same ships, broadly speaking, with the same stuff, it won't be so dependent on the random number generator. We'll both be playing the same map, which I think is going to be really, really cool. It's kind of late here, so I'm not sure I'm going to get started with it tonight. But, um, but yeah, once once I've gotten started, there will be a link in the video description to that as well. And, um, yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning, I think, um, I did a video investigating what's up with um, mines and how damage falls off by distance, because we had a lot of mines in the last week, and so I got curious about that and wanted to find out. Um, so there's a Test Kitchen video for that that uh, went up last night. I'll put a link to that one in the video description as well, unless in case you want to uh, have a look. And anyway, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.